making a bottle stopper out of a bee turns out to be a really fun project. And if you want to know how you can make it, you will find out in the coming minutes. A friend of mine started beekeeping earlier this spring, so on the basis of that I wanted to make something. And when I found a dead bee in my window, I thought that this could be a really really cool bottle stopper. So the first thing you need to do is to mix up some resin to start with the base of the bottle stopper. If you want to do this project yourself, uh, please find uh, a dead bee and don't go out there and uh, kill any bee, because we really need the bees that are in our world. And if you have any thoughts about this video, please comment below. So I'm gonna put some yellow pigment in the bottom of the bottle stopper to uh, make a yellow base where the bee can stand on top of and make it uh, pop a little more than if it all just was clear resin. If you like these kind of videos, uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button and like my video, that would really help me out. And if you are wondering why I'm using voiceover so much, it's because of the resin and I have to use a mask for safety reasons when working with it. So that is the reason that I am talking to you here after recording the video. Since I don't have a round silicone mold and I don't have a lathe, I decided to use an old toothpick box as mold for my bottle stopper. It wasn't the best idea because the plastic is pretty hard as you will see later and I had a bit of a struggle getting the bottle stopper out of the mold. Then it is time for a middle layer between the yellow and where the bee is gonna sit. So I'm gonna add a little little layer of uh, clear epoxy so that the bee can be hovering above the yellow base. This is where the fun begins. I'm putting the bee up in the mold and uh, I can start to visualize how it's gonna look. I make sure that the bee sits as much in the middle of the mold as I can get it before I'm putting more resin on top, uh, practically sealing the bee in there for, for eternity. So, then it is time for the top layer. And uh, when pouring this, I got to be really, really careful that uh, I don't uh, push the bee out of its position because, as mentioned, I got it exactly in the middle and uh, if the resin pours in too fast, uh, the bee is gonna shift in there and it's gonna be really hard to get it back in position when the mold is full of resin. Unfortunately, there seem to be kind of a visual layer between the middle layer and the top layer of resin. I'm not really sure why, maybe I waited a little too long before I poured the top layer, but at this point there's not much to do about it and I just kept on going. So, as I mentioned earlier, picking a hard plastic mold for my bottle stopper was a bad idea. Uh, you can see that I'm struggling to get the uh, resin out of the mold and uh, I tried this for a little while and in the end I just gave up and uh, went outside and heated up the plastic so I could peel it off instead. Unfortunately I didn't bring my camera for that part but uh, as we soon will see the plastic will magically disappear from the mold. Uh, 
Here I am drilling a guide hole for the screw in the bottle stopper. And the reason that I'm drilling a guide hole is to ensure that uh, the hole is perfectly in the middle of the bottle stopper. And then I uh, drill a bigger hole that fits the screw perfectly so I can easily fit it in. Okay, so let's see if it fits, and it does. Okay, then it's on to the next step. Okay, since I saw that the screw is almost goes almost as deep as uh, this yellow part, you could see just barely through the clear resin here that the screw was put in. So since you could see it, I decided to paint yellow, and um, also gonna put some yellow pigments into the resin. So here I'm just using some regular 5 minute epoxy and the reason for that is uh, that it's not going to function as anything but just regular glue and it's just going to seal the screw to the hole in the bottle stopper as you can see and uh, that is all to it so I don't need any more fancy resin than this cheap ass 5 minute epoxy. So then we just pour the 5 minute epoxy into the bottle stopper, screw in the bolt and wait for it to dry. Now it is time for the shaping part. Uh, as I mentioned I don't have a lathe, so I start with sanding down the top of the bottle stopper to make it even. And then I use my Dremel and my normal drill and use that as kind of a lathe. So you can say that I'm using my drill and uh, my Dremel as a substitute for a lathe to shape out, um, to make the shape of my bottle stopper. It takes uh, quite a while, but in the end, it, the result is pretty good. So, using my drill this way uh, probably isn't very, very healthy for the drill, but I mean, what you're supposed to do when you don't have a lathe and you need something that works kind of like a lathe. So even though it's probably bad for my drill, I'm using what I got. So, getting a little preview of what the bottle stopper could look like in the end, I get to say I'm pretty happy with the shape of my piece and I'm gonna move on. And then the tedious part begins. I start sanding with 8 grit and work my way up to 1200 grit. And then I go over to micro mesh. Okay, so it's time to use the micro mesh. We start with uh, 1500 and goes all the way up to 12,000. Making it up to 12,000 grit on the micro mesh is always a satisfying feeling. Uh, you can really see how the product will look in the end and you can see that it shines, it just looks really good. And that is worth all of the trouble. So there it is, another project done. I thank you for uh, joining me in this video. I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you consider subscribing.
and I hope you consider and I and I hope you consider subscribing for uh, more quality content in the future. Thank you and goodbye.